A particle is said to be moving with simple harmonic motion if the acceleration of the particle is directly proportional to the distance from a fixed point and is always directed towards that point. In linear simple harmonic motion, a particle oscillates in a straight line with a linear acceleration which is proportional to the linear displacement of the particle from a fixed point and is always directed to that point. In the diagram, O is the fixed point about which the oscillation occurs and is also known as the center of oscillation or mean position. A is the amplitude of the oscillation and is the maximum distance the particle moves from O. X is the displacement of the particle at a given time, t. At O, the speed is a maximum and the acceleration is zero. At distance A from point O, the speed is zero and the acceleration is a maximum. The basic equation for simple harmonic motion can be deduced from its definition. The period of the motion is the time taken for one complete oscillation and is equal to the time taken to travel four times the amplitude. The frequency of the simple harmonic motion is the number of complete oscillations made in unit time. Any force that is directed towards a fixed point and which is proportional to the displacement from that point produces SHM. One system which satisfies this definition is the force produced by an elastic string or spring. In this case, the extension of the string or spring, which obeys Hooke's law, is directly proportional to the tension. The diagram shows that the tension in the spring increases with the extension. At position 1, the spring is unextended and the tension equals zero. At position two, the extension is equal to L and the tension equals K times L. At position three, the extension has increased to L plus X and the tension has increased proportionally to K times L plus X. A simple pendulum consists of a small bob of mass m suspended from a fixed point by a light inextensible string of length l. If the bob is moved through a small angle and released, it oscillates about the point O. When the bob is at point A, the forces on the bob are the tension in the string and the weight of the bob itself. Resolving the forces, there is a net restoring force acting tangentially towards O. If the angle theta is small, theta in radians is very nearly equal to the sine of theta. In such cases, the motion of the bob is simple harmonic, oscillating about point O. The time period, t, of a pendulum undergoing small oscillations is independent of the amplitude of oscillation. For a given position on the Earth, where the value of g is constant, t depends only on the length of the pendulum.